We want it to feel like a home environment for these kids. And because Fremont's Jefferson House feels like a home. Down the hallway we have uh, six bedrooms. The people who live and work here feel like family. On a daily basis, kids are, are doing chores, um, working with staff, following instructions. Chris Sewell is program director, and he's heard it all. The good, the bad. Get after it, buddy. And the extraordinary, like 17-year-old Tanner story. To find people who actually care is in this world, I mean, it's rough. It's hard to find. Tanner has struggled with drug use, been in and out of trouble before finally landing here. If not for the Jefferson House, I honestly do believe that I'd be in a basement of a crack house. But the Jefferson House gives people like Tanner an option other than jail. It's an emergency shelter and a group home for 12 kids all under 18. We are the only uh, residential shelter uh, in Dodge County, uh, so sometimes they would have to be shipped outside of the service area. Sewell says they're part of Heartland Family Service, so instead of being locked up, kids come here to learn life skills. Kids don't want to do bad things. They, they want to be successful. But how they make this house feel like a home is community support. And without this home, kids like Tanner would be lost. The Jefferson House has helped me in ways that I could have never imagined. And you will get a chance to help the Jefferson House on Saturday. They're having a comedy night fundraiser in Fremont. Tickets start at $50 per person and Tanner, who you just saw there, will also be a keynote speaker. For purchase information, we provided a link at KETV.com. Great Guys, young back man. To you.